foam. And it's going to be a, a fire and light. Well, it's um, just gone past 12 noon in the island of Pathos in Greece. And uh, the book. Hello there, Andrina. Hi, Jeffrey. Um, morning, everybody. To dream in the new dream, and um, what's the date today? Eleventh, I think. <laughs> God, I can't keep up with these days. Is it eleventh to the ninth? Hang on, nine. Twenty. No, the twelfth. So. Jeffrey is coming live from Greece and he's going to show us lots of lovely pictures and share his journey. Um, because last time you saw him was in um, Bosnia um, and he was unwell after his pyramid expedition. So, um, but we're doing it on hot spots. So I'm not quite sure how it's going to go today. So you're just going to have to bear with us and um, just enjoy the ride. So I think Jeffrey's signals um coming in and out i don't think it's mine yeah so, so uh, uh right <laughs> can you hear me jeffrey no starlink on this particular boat Right. Right. So, um, Bosnia. Um, would I recommend it? Yeah, I think there's a lot of um, knowledge to be shared. Um, tunnels, a whole form of construction that you know anyone who's um, a thinker a reader of um, texts will probably find overwhelming obviously um the sanitation needs to be looked at i mean the number of our people in our group all went down i thought i had food poison you'd be perfectly on it some dehydration but uh Uh, after three days it hadn't gone away and I was just <clears throat> myself and the toilet to build up a really amenable relationship so um, yeah, that, way. yeah so um, yeah <laughs> yeah a beautiful relationship with the toilet bowl we have got married to that one right swiftly moving on <laughs> anyway um I managed to get to the island of, of Kosvoy, Austria, of Vienna, and uh, we, went, we, we had yeah, it took ages, and we had a good, we got a good crew out there. Um, Anyway, the Disney, coming um, in and out. Um, right. um, well, we've ended up at Pathos, and we're just leaving Pathos now. We're going, going after the, the um, cruise ship, so we had the whole monastery to ourselves. We got there at 8 o'clock. We're there at the door. Dong Dong, the bloke opened the door, says, morning, welcome, come on in. And um, an interesting part of the world, in those little small alleyways, you know, you often see in the movies, um, narrow narrow streets. Anyway, um, mm. had a good look around, look around. There's a lot of freshers, freshers, what do you call it, freshers? Freak, yeah, the paintings on the walls. Um, yeah. So, um, frescoes, sorry. Anyway, you're not allowed to take photos of actually inside the monastery. 
the girls are supposed to have long um, skirts below the knees, just to give you a heads up. A donation of five dollars is required. Plus fifteen, oh, that's fifteen euros, I should say. It's fifteen euros from the um, the wharf area up to the monastery. Euros, five hundred and twenty euros, and do the same thing that we basically, you know, four in a taxi for fifteen euros and five euros each. Yeah. Um, amazing, you know. Um, and then uh, there's a quick, short walk down to the uh, the cave where uh, Saint John himself spent that time writing his book of Revelation. So you know, um, I'm sure there's a lot of people who um, would be uh, fascinated by the fact that you can make those pilgrimages. You know, a lot of people go to the Vatican, or the, some uh, people might go to the, do the um, the Taj. Some people gather, you know, the different um, Buddhist facilities around the world. Some, you know, at the end of the day, whatever you, is your faith, um, you know, follow it and um, live the dream. Mm. Anyway, so, um, go on. You go. Yeah, totally. I, I was going to say, when I went to um, Rome, that was in, hang on, let me see, it seems good. 97 and we went in the vatican and it says no no taking pictures movies or anything everybody was in there was taking pictures nobody took any notice of that at all <laughs> so um yeah interesting eh? but yeah, yeah. The, um, um you're you're cracking up literally you're coming and going um hi jess yeah so your signals just come in and go in so anyway keep going and we'll just sit right so um i have to say if you ever go to new zealand every time you you turn a corner there's something absolutely spectacular about mm. new zealand but i have to say coming to the greek islands it takes it to a whole new level you know like it's phenomenal really? what it's like You, you can easily fall into it and decided you know life's all about living it not going to work from you know six o'clock to three o'clock or whatever or doing shift work these guys have got it down pat you know they've got a small little fishing boat they go out and pull in a couple of fish a couple of squid bring it back and then at night you know everybody comes out and most people are coming out at eight o'clock at night the place we went to last night pathos i mean that was just heaving you know, as you English would say, you know, yeah. all the cafes, the restaurants are all open, the shops are all open. It's just manic, you know, it's 11 o'clock at night. We're um, in a nice little island um, called Lipsy. Um, and we're packed up in, alongside. The keys side. I mean, they really do look after all the yachts coming in. Put out the keys. Harbour master, and they supply a, a car which enables you to get water and uh, fuel. And um, we're packed up to really like we're we only like a seventy meter walk. You can go straight and into there to Werner and boom you know like yeah they play a different life here this this mob so um you know I took but I'd have to say when you ask for a Greek salad it's actually fresh the tomatoes are fresh the cucumbers are fresh thrown in there and the olives it just makes and then of course the olive oil it's just nothing better than um fresh um just you know fresh ingredients you know beautiful um yeah, okay so now um yeah there's a bad signal it's just basically that's just goes to show you vodafone's not the uh, i mean there's three major providers here and, and of course around the corner from where i was saying the cause was a vodafone shop and had a look at the map and it said it did the greek islands but um the one to get is osmo i'm quite sure of it now that I look back on it, so um, 
yeah anyway it is what it is look um i want people to get into um this particular uh facebook page um yeah if, and it's um my personal page jeffrey shaw and um you will um you will come across yeah the most exquisite um photos you know that i've taken and to keep five to a site so um there is some really spectacular um vision there but you know um it's almost like the old days in the 70s and 80s you know when people would go away for days and then they invite people over for barbecue and you sit there in a slideshow showing your photos you know um <laughs> and i don't want to do with i don't want to get on with that so um but i i do um want to say to you um there is a place in um, an island called Leros, and it's got an Italian um, infusion that came in in 1912, and they went and built these tunnels, and uh, during World War II they had them all stored with all the armaments and ammunition and stuff um, you know, for World War II, and they held onto the island. Um, inside the tunnel was a um, a movie and it showed World War, I say it showed the Germans defeating the British. It's the first time I've seen a, a movie where it's the Germans won, you know, uh, which is mm -hmm. quite strange. Uh, anyway, mate. Um, Are you going to be able to show us one by one? Want? Oh, if you want. Uh, I, I, think that say, I didn't really want to get involved in that. If you could show one by one, that might be. So was that your first, that was the start of your tour, was it? Yeah. Yeah. I have to say the UK has got a blue sky at the moment. Mm -hmm. Have we lost Jeffrey? Uh, I'm not sure how this is going to work today, everybody, because obviously he's using hotspot on a boat and obviously the signal's coming in and out. So, um, and I can't, ah, oh, there we are. That might be affecting your signal, Jeff, showing the pictures. Yes. We, um, I mean, it's just, well, I can't just get over the fact that a lot of the places we've been to, um, we're on a catamaran, you know, whereas, um, if you didn't have that, you'd be good doing the, uh, the ferries mm. and um, jumping from one aisle to the other with the ferries, and you just have to be more aware of the, the timetables and the schedules, and then getting a BNB. You know, having the actual um, the catamaran has been of some benefit. And it, what we've learnt with the catamarans up in um, Harvey Bay with the whales, you've got so much deck space, saloon space, and your your bunk rooms, your cabins are very good, you know. So, um, yeah, there's something to be said for that. Um, would I do it? I recommend it. I just get a team of people together and then you know, um, and just go for it. You know? um, mm. All right, what's been the main highlight of being in Greece? Um, you uh, well we were well, so crook for the you know the first you know four days so um we, we got these quad bikes 
and we went on this particular place that I'm showing now and um, we drove around there for the day, different spots. Um, you know, there's no guardrails, there's all that stuff that security fences you, and signs you can't go here and I said, there's none of that. It's all about you have to take personal responsibility. I think the Greeks have got that down, down pat, you know. Yeah. Take personal responsibility, and I think their um, lifestyle suits um, the weather here. Obviously, in the winter, it's a bit different because the tourists uh, don't come. We had a, a massive uh, lightning storm about three o'clock in the morning. That was something to behold, but no, no. I've been working from 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock or 10 o'clock to 2 um, and then coming on again at 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock, you know, it's Monday to Saturday. Why not? Yeah. Why not indeed, eh? Indeed. Mm. Mm -hmm. But it's very easy to slip in and have a little uh, power nap in the afternoon, you know? Do the shops all close? I mean, I know when I used to go to Spain many years ago, the shops all shut for a siesta in the afternoon and then opened up early evening. Do they do that in Greece? Uh, these little island places. Uh, well, we're traveling basically um, and stopping at a different little, um, little yeah. bays and who's been here since 2007 while well, he comes over and himself as keep losing you jeff that's where we've saved a lot of time and effort because he takes us in Right. I mean, we went to Does it show how many bars you've got on your hot spot if you move somewhere else? Four bars. Really? Yeah. Four. Oh, because <laughs> obviously you're coming and going, so, um, but obviously you're on the move as well, so. <clears throat> well, I don't think we're having a lot of luck today. Um, I mean, the only thing I can suggest if you want to see is to go on Jeff's page. Like to see all his pictures um, and then you can ask message him and ask any questions if you want to know any more. But obviously, um, I say something, he comes in with a word and goes out again. So this is not working very well, Jeff. I'm not sure if he can hear me now. Excuse me. Right, I'm not sure if we're going to have to abandon this one today. Um, 
I can tell you um, we've got a couple lovely guests coming up <clears throat> that I've booked in advance. I've got, um, let me see, <clears throat> while we're waiting for Jeffrey, um, I'm going to get Jess to do a little reel later, but next week we've got Maggie Shannon and she's over from Australia and she's an amazing healer. I tell you, if anybody's looking um, to clear any uh, really deep, deep stuff, ancestral, whatever, Maggie is the lady and I have had a session where there and it knocked me for a couple of days I have to tell you and what came up was you know it's just not your airy fairy stuff of healing this this is I mean really really deep healing so um <clears throat> highly recommend um Maggie and then we've got Manyanya Kingley next week to do with the grandmother's council I haven't got all the details here so um but she's going to be the following week and um, they're going to share the grandmother's story. So that's going to be amazing. Um, then I'm on holiday for two weeks in October. I'm going to be in Egypt. Um, so there won't be any show coming from me. Um, so I'm waiting to see if Jeff's lined anybody up to speak to for those two weeks. <coughs> September, the uh, September no hang on a minute 17th of october we've got the lovely neptune shade back on again he's got lots more to share with us all 24th of october i've got the lovely kelly hinson sharing what she does oh my god this is another amazing being so i am so so blessed to meet um and be told about different people that are amazing having amazing <clears throat> experiences on the planet and then um, I haven't got any more anybody else booked in. I'm waiting for people to come back to me. But um, I will be having Kelly and Joe, our lovely Dr. Joe Whitaker, and Kelly working together on a new project that they're they're working on now, and they're going to be sharing that in November. I don't know what the date is yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> um, so there's lots of. Um, amazing people that are dreaming the new dream that are helping humanity um so please 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 subscribe to andrina forest so i can get these dreaming the new dream people out and about because oh my god everybody's got a story to share some better than others um and People need to be seen, they need to be heard, and we're in the greatest time of history now, so we all need each other to share and connect and help one another in any way, shape, or form. So anyway, I'm not going to waffle on. Um, I'm going to say goodbye, and um, <clears throat> I don't know if Jeff can hear me, but if he can switch off the live. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Right, I've lost Jeffrey. Uh, I don't know how to switch off the live because it comes from Jeff. So <laughs> it's all good fun, isn't it? <laughs> um, right. So I don't know if I just exit, whether it, that exits off. So Jeff, if you can hear me, I'll send you a message. Please, could you switch off the live? Really sorry, everybody, that um, we couldn't share um all the pictures but just go on to jeff's facebook page and there's masses of pictures so let me um right he's calling me now <laughs> hello Right, um, I'm obviously still live and I've just messaged Jeff to um, switch off the live. So thank you everybody that has tuned in today and if you're going to be listening later on, <laughs> thank you anyway. Um, if you've got any amazing guests, 
who are dreaming a new dream, please get them to get in touch with me. And I've got spaces. Um, and it's been lovely having a mini sharing with you all. So hope you have a beautiful week. Um, he says he's switched off. So on that note, <laughs> I don't know whether he has, but I've still got live going. So um, I'm going to exit out as well. So bye. Hello. <laughs> I don't know whether I'm live. Um, I don't know what to do here because I don't know. Um, right. Um, I don't know if there's any way. Well, I don't know whether I am or no, but I'm going to switch everything off. So that should do it, I hope. <laughs> 